Hi everyone, how are you doing? A real treat in store for you today. So it's my version of a open shawarma. Now let me tell you the story behind why I'm doing this. So yesterday I felt like going to my favorite Lebanese restaurant. I always have cravings for Lebanese food because I absolutely love it. So today I thought let's go ahead and make my version of a shawarma. So what I have here is a garlic flatbread. Um, that I just bought from the supermarket. So I'm gonna bung that into the oven at the same time as my chicken. I'll be using my spike to skewer my chicken. But first of all, I need to make a marination. Um, what I have done is I've already marinated my chicken thighs with some vegetable oil, a little bit of salt, and also some lemon juice. Now my veg oil is mixed with olive oil, so it's part olive oil. You can use either or you can combine it like me. And now um, what we need to do is marination. So I've got some corn flour here that goes in. So all my corn flour. Now why I'm using corn flour? Only a, a little bit, but what it helps to do is just give it a crunch, yes, but also help the meat stick together and everything to combine really well. I've got some sumac here that goes in for a lovely um, tangy flavor as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add my ginger garlic paste. So that goes into my mouth. I'm going to add some green chilies into my um, shawarma marinade to give it a little bit of a spice kick. I am going to go ahead and add some yogurt. So not too much yogurt, it's just hardly a tablespoon of yogurt to go in. And I am going to add a pinch of salt, although I have put salt in my chicken, so just a pinch in this one. And now, here we are. Here is the magic part. I don't need to add anything else in my shawarma marinade apart from my magic masala, which is full of flavor. Honestly, you can't go wrong with this. So I've been very generous with that. And added some magic masala. It's got the cayenne pepper, it's got the smoked paprika, it's got everything in there that you could possibly want for that immense flavor. It's got some dried coriander. You name it, it is in here. Right. Let's give that a mix together. Now, this is going to be quite a thick marinade, which is absolutely fine. That's just because we haven't put any oil in it. My oil is in the chicken, which is perfect, actually. Right, that's all you need to do to mix it around. My corn flour, of course, has made it even thicker. And here we go, my chicken thighs. And what you do is just first of all give the mix around. So like I said, these have already got lemon juice, it's already got olive oil in there. So I'm gonna go in with my chicken thighs like this and using my hands, just marinate all of my chicken thighs. Now, you can leave this for about 30 minutes to marinate or overnight. I'm gonna break the rules and do it now. I'm pretty hungry. It's lunchtime and me and dad need to eat, but you can see already. Look how the meat has just caught that marinade so well. And what I've done also with my chicken thighs is cut them into half. So that's just gonna allow me to skewer as I want to. So there you go, your chicken is marinated right. Where's my spike? Chicken is so, so moist, really happy with that, right? What you wanna do is, now kind of fold it over, but not too much if that makes sense, so just once. And then you are just feeling on Some pieces might not be able to fold, so that's fine. You can leave those as whole. I'm gonna do as many as I can here on this spike. Yeah, let's go down with that bit first. That's all you do. You really just pile your chicken on top. Let me go ahead and do that. All done. So my last two pieces weren't really fitting, so I left them kind of flat. Um, it should just cook all the way through. Uh, you might have to adjust your oven temperature. My oven has been preheating on 180. Um, I'm guesstimating it's going to take about 30 minutes. They are chicken thighs, so 25 to 30 minutes. Just keep checking it. What you might want to do is, in between the cooking, just create some space, push 
the pieces up so that it will cook all the way through. Right, I can't wait to show you what my cook shawarma is gonna look like. Guys, can I just say, I am super impressed with this. Just look at my chicken shawarma. It's cooked so well. And what I've been doing in between is just cutting into one of the two pieces just to see and check that it's cooked perfectly. And that has cooked perfectly all the way through. Now, I mean, what does, what is, what is shawarma? It's, comes from Middle Eastern cuisine, as we all know, but it's literally meat stacked on a skewer and then cooked vertically on a rotisserie where it's obviously turning. But when you have a home oven, the best or the second best thing you can do is the way that I have done it. That looks absolutely uh, yummy. So what I'm doing is just using uh, my spike glove and then, oh, I can wait for this bit. I was really excited about this bit. And then all you're doing, oh, wow, look at, oh, this is so good. So you're literally carving your shawarma like they do at your favorite Lebanese, wow, this is so succulent. Just look, OMG, oh my god, I'm a bit excited. I'm really sorry because I am super impressed with this. Okay, let's go from the top. I just wanna pretend that I'm in my favorite restaurant, my Lebanese restaurant. Wow, guys, this is so good. Wait. Oh, you have to try though. You shouldn't speak with your mouth full, I know. Guys, let me just cut a little bit more off. I'm really having fun doing this. Wow, this is so good. Just look, it is so moist and so wicked. Wow. You do need a sharp knife. So make sure you do get a sharp knife and just carve from. Right, you know what? I just can't hold off any longer. Right, garlic flatbread is ready. Let's put that there. So you can use really any flatbread. I've got this board that I'm going to present it on. Right, where is my wicked shawarma? Woohoo! Right, let's put this over here. Right. Okay. Right, guys. Let's do this. Okay, garlic flatbread onto there like this now I've got I've got some salad you can mix up your salad so this isn't like oh you have to use this salad you can use whatever you like I love red onions so I'm um, with my shawarma so I'm gonna put my red onions there like this just a few red onions I've got some jalapenos those go on as well so optional really whatever you want you know like when you go to your Lebanese your favorite Lebanese restaurant they put like those um, long pickles so you can you can put whatever you like in your shawarma really this is just a dip version of the shawarma I love love tomatoes in my shawarma so I'm really excited I'm really sorry I'm just salivating now and eager to eat this it looks so good and then I've got some gherkins which I have just sliced too. So those just go on like this. Dad is gonna love this. We love, we love shawarma. And when it looks like this, we love it even more. Right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and lift up my chicken pieces. And it's just okay. Let's make this a nice big portion. Now, realistically, you can put this into um, like a wrap as well, or a flatbread, like a thinner flatbread, and then close it up. That's fine as well. So it's really up to you. But I just want to show you how quick, simple, delicious shawarma can be made at home. And if it looks as good as this one, no one is going to be able to resist. Right, I've got some chili sauce here, which I am just going to literally just drizzle over top like this. Use any chili sauce, use your favorite. 
chili sauce wow all over and now let's not forget your garlic sauce so your garlic sauce just goes over like this come on ready 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 oh. that looks mean that is all i am saying chicken shawarma at home like this give that a go I am going to feast on this. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Stay happy and stay blessed. See you soon. Bye-bye.